Act. Talks of the importance of ventilators in the battle to save lives of severe COVID-19 patients has gained pace as the number of infected Kenyans rises by the day. The national and county governments are working round the clock to source and stock these crucial breathing aids. Enoxicolia spent the day with a medic and tells us just why and how these devices keep patients struggling for air alive. Enoxicolia. Located along the Eastern Bypass is Kenyatta University for teaching, referrals and research, a facility that is now providing frontline assistance in the battle against COVID-19. Its infectious disease unit, isolation centers, doctors and nurses have formed the country's war chest. The hospital is already providing Medicare to 10 out of the 122 confirmed positive cases of the virus. In the facility's intensive care unit, the hospital has installed 24 ventilators and with countries across the globe registering shortage of this key medical asset, we came to Kenyatta University Hospital to understand how they work and why they are so important to COVID-19 patients. You have to set it ready so that by the time the patient comes, you immediately put the patient on ventilation. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to switch it on. After you have switch, switched it on, make sure that uh, all the connections are in order. Because this patient definitely will be requiring oxygen, you have to make sure that the ventilator is connected to the oxygen source. The oxygen source is here. You can see it's written here. And then you also connect the, the ventilator to medical air. Because in as far as uh, oxygen is a drug, too much of oxygen is also poisonous. So you, you wouldn't want to be giving the patient 100% oxygen at every time. So you need air, this is medical air. So the medical air is connected so that you can titrate the concentration of oxygen. So once you make, you are sure that you have done your connections, now you come and do something which is called a system check. You can see that it, has, it is checking so many things. It is checking the oxygen flow. It is checking the air flow. It is checking the expiratory flow sensor. It is also checking the pressure test, pressure sensor. Because you don't want to give so much pressure in the patient's lung, and then you end up damaging the patient's lung. Yes. yes. These are called now the, the breathing circuits. So this is called the inspiratory rim yes so air will come through this then go to the patient then now again when it is coming back it will go via this other one to the expiratory rim this is the expiratory rim from the now the breathing circuit eh, you connect something called uh, this is a filter remember when you get intubated eh, when somebody is intubated, you bypass the function of the nose. The nose has hair, which does the filtering of dust. It also has uh, humidifiers, and also the air gets moist. Mm, hu yeah, I've talked about the humidifier. Yeah. yeah, basically those are the two two major functions of the of the nose. So this one does the same. It humidifies the oxygen and it warms it. After the now the color amount, the other thing now we connect is. Uh, this is now the tube, which is now going directly into the, to the lung. Into the lung, the yeah. trachea of the patient. So now this is the complete now, the circuit. From the machine up to the, this side is the machine. The end here are the patient's lungs. And then this is now what you do to open the patient's mouth. After you open the patient's mouth, you get to view the opening of the trachea inside the patient's mouth. And then, now that's where you are now going to to put the, now this tube inside. Once you put, you just connect it. You can see this, uh, this breathing circuit has two, two limbs. Yes. yes. This limb, called the inspiratory limb, it has a valve system, eh, which is around here. So what it does, when you are breathing in, it opens. So you, you, get, you take in oxygen. When you are breathing out, that valve closes, and then they, we have another one here for the 
expirate the circuit. So now there's carbon dioxide. Now we, we come through this adrenaline, through this adrenaline, and go back to the machine, and then it is dissipated outside. Now, this machine has become synonymous with the management of the new coronavirus, the COVID-19. According to experts, this machine can be the difference between life and death. Acute respiratory failure means that your lungs are not, you are not able to get enough oxygen to sustain your body requirements. For people with severe cases of coronavirus, these ventilators could keep them alive long enough for their bodies to fight off the virus. The most uh, important function of the ventilator is to take away the function of breathing from you. Okay? Yeah. Because remember, you still have your lungs. So the lungs, being that they are deceased, that you are not taking enough oxygen, once we take away the work of breathing from you, it means now you have you are not using so much energy to breathe. Mm -hmm. Yes. But your lungs, they still have to continue taking oxygen. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, this one, uh, we are able to deliver oxygen up to the level of the lungs. The problem is that there aren't enough of them in the country. The ventilators, we have about 12, 19. We also have private sector. But whatever number we get is a drop in the ocean. It's not even 5% of what we may require. None of the coronavirus patients at the Kenyatta University Hospital has been taken to the ICU, but doctors and nurses are preparing themselves for the projected tough days ahead. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV.